our organization is called the University of Tokyo Research Institute for Cotton Science and Laser Technology, also known as UTRIPLE. This organization is an alliance of the several existing organizations within the University of Tokyo, consisting of the Institute for Cotton Science and Technology, the School of the Science, Cotton Science Center, the Engineering School, and the Laser and the Cyclotron Research Center of the Institute of the Solid State Physics. They cover the research field of the laser physics, material science, quantum physics, and bioscience. And this is a very important factor for doing interdisciplinary and application-oriented research. The research led by myself and Professor Tsuneyuki is to examine how atoms, molecules, and materials behave under intense laser irradiation. For example, we are developing various new methods to accurately calculate the electron dynamics driven by laser field and electron tr energy transfer from laser to electrons. Also combining the first principles and molecular dynamics calculations, we start to quantitatively reproduce how atoms are emitted from a laser-rated surface. We build a nationwide network to collaborate with other theoreticians, also experimentalists that develop, for example, cutting-edge operando measurement techniques. The population in Japan is decreasing. To keep our productivity, we need to establish ecosystem for production. We focus on laser manufacturing here because we are good at developing a smart laser system, thinking of light matter interactions and artificial intelligence, such as deep learning. Combining this research area, we aim to establish a cyber physical system in laser processing. There are so many parameters for laser processing, such as wavelengths, pulse duration, scan speed, and so on. Now, craftsmen in the factory find a good parameter set by using their experience and feeling. We would like to change from feeling to optimization. Then the uh, lead time of a production system could be reduced dramatically. In addition to traditional research, we are creating the new interdisciplinary research area in medical science, bioscience, and agricultural science. Tissue clearing technique is a method to make animal and plant organs transparent for three-dimensional observation. We have developed uh, one of the world's clearest tissue clearing reagent, which we named Lucid. Lucid has many characteristics such as long-term transparency preservation of more than 10 years. Lucid is the fastest clearing reagent, taking only six hours, while other methods need 10 to 20 days with repeated treatment. Lucid cleared samples are observed within a much photo microscope, and it can also make bones transparent without a decalcification step. I hope that Lucid can be used as a common tool for clinical diagnosis, bioscience, and pharmaceutical research. Quantum information technology is also a very attractive research area. Professor Kowashi and his group at YouTube has been working on the quantum cryptography. We are trying to find how we can exploit the uh, unique property of quantum mechanics to enhance uh, information technology, like uh, fast computation and highly secure communication. Quantum key distribution, QKD, is a major application of quantum information uh, which can be realized uh, within today's technology. It provides highly secure communication uh, up to a distance of a few hundred kilometers. Now, a couple of years ago, uh, researchers noticed the possibility of almost doubling that uh, distance limit. But uh, it, it was only a possibility because there was no guarantee that it works against any kind of eavesdropping attacks. But uh, recently, uh, we uh, kind of developed a new clever method of monitoring the eavesdropping attacks, and we established a complete security proof uh, that guarantees that uh, it's secure against any kind of attacks. In addition to scientific activities, a consortium with industry was founded in 2017 for laser material processing. 
This consortium has over 60 members, including more than 50 companies. And we hope to develop this into the effective bridge between the academia and industry.